Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low-budget wonder. Now check this out. Okay, today we're going to be frying fish. I'm going to show you the easiest way I know how to do this. And it doesn't matter if you use pollock, cod, or catfish. Pick your favorite, and we'll just start rolling with it. Pour some buttermilk or some cream or even just plain milk over the top of it and this helps dilute the real fishy flavor and taste. Make sure you stir it in there real good and completely cover it and leave it out to set for a little bit so it can really just take over. Now there's all kinds of mixes and recipes to batter your fish. This is the easiest. It's only a dollar and a half per box. Just throw it in a bowl, take your marinated fish, toss it till it's completely breaded, and then you're ready to fry it. Let's zoom in here for a close-up so you can see that it's completely battered, because this is how you want it to look. Once you get everything that you're going to put in the fryer at once done, let it sit for five minutes, then it's ready to go. Make sure your oil is completely preheated to 375 degrees, then start adding the fish. If you don't, you'll cold shock the oil and it'll drop too low and will not get crispy enough. The frying will only take a couple minutes. Just look for that nice golden brown. Pull it out. Let's see if we can get in there for you so you can have a little bit of a close-up. See how tender it is. See, it just falls apart. It's perfect. It's the way you want it. Frying fish right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.